Hi, I'm Kel from Promenade, and today we're going to see how to install a Promenade handrail on the wall using the new sprocket lock L brackets. We've built a miniature version of a wall, uh, complete with little 2x4 studs at the back, and I'm going to show you how we install the brackets on this wall. First step in a real wall would be to find the studs. Uh, you can use a stud finder, or uh, if you know where they are in new construction, that makes it easy. Uh, in this case, We've located the studs right behind our piece of fake wall board and marked them with a vertical line. Now, to install the brackets, the only other step is to determine the height of the attachment on the stud. For a sprocket lock L bracket, it's going to attach to the wall using one of our new sprockets. And the sprocket has a center hole that you use to um, fix it to the stud. The center hole is going to be located exactly four inches below the top surface of the handrail. So if your handrail is installed above the floor at a standard height of 36 inches, you want to locate the sprocket on the stud 32 inches above the floor. If you're installing on stairs, the measurement is taken from what we call the nosing line. So if you lay a straight edge along the nosings of the stair, that becomes the nosing line and again, the top of the railing should be exactly 36 inches above that line. So with the nosing line and the studs marked vertically on the wall, you measure up from the line 32 inches, and that will be the point where you want to put the sprocket to install the sprocket lock L brackets. To install them, all we have to do is drill a pilot hole. So the lower bracket we're going to put right here. Now I'm going to change my drill for a socket driver. This is a two and a half inch lag bolt that's supplied with the sprocket and the rest of the L bracket kit. But you can use almost any fastener to attach the sprocket to the wall because all of the sprocket and the fastener will be hidden by the bracket. And that means that if you have, for example, steel studs, you may want to use a butterfly connector. Or if you have concrete, you could use a concrete anchor or Tapcon type screw. Whatever you need to attach securely to the wall, as long as it doesn't exceed 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter, you can use to attach the sprocket uh, to your wall member. So I'm just going to put this one in here. And I'm going to repeat it at the other end. Now. Here's the fun part. The L bracket is made in three pieces. There's this L-shaped part that will sit right on top of the sprocket. There's another component that goes in front. And finally, there's a barrel that we're going to install from below to clamp it all together. But before we put this one on, I'm going to add this little O-ring to fill the gap between the bracket and the wall. An alternative to the O-ring is to use a rosette, optionally, that would be sandwiched between the sprocket and the wall. And the rosette is handy if you need to distribute the force of the bracket over a larger area. So say, for example, your wall is made out of a fragile um, sheetrock, or if it's uh, any other surface that you wish to protect, or you're worried about the, the, the surface uh, finish of the wall, you can use this rosette and just place it between the sprocket and the wall when you're attaching the uh, sprocket with the lag bolt. The rosettes are available in two sizes. This is the large one for extra spreading of the load. There's a smaller rosette, about two inch in diameter, that's handy for mounting on tile or on glass. But since we don't have the rosette, we're going to use the O-ring to uh, take up the gap, and we're going to place the bracket uh, in its uh, place like that. I'm just going to add the other O-ring on the other side and hang the second bracket. Now, with our brackets holding in place, we can attach the railing. You can note that the brackets can angle to whatever direction to match the angle of the stairs or the slope that you're installing the railing on. Now I'm going to take the front portion of the sprocket lock L-bracket and I'm going to angle it into place into the channel of the railing and push it towards the wall 
to clip it temporarily while we install the other brackets. And now, all we have to do is install these barrels on the bottom of the brackets with the supplied screws to clamp it all together tightly. Once your handrail has been installed and firmly attached to the wall with the sprocket lock L brackets, all we have to do is finish it off. And to do that, we're going to add vinyl extrusion that clips underneath the rail between the brackets. And we're going to add either an end cap or a wall return to terminate the railing. Now, in this example, I'm going to show you how you can use a 90 degree sprocket lock bend as a wall return and eliminate one bracket. I've disassembled the railing and added a channel grip connector to the end of my channel grip tubing. You can see how to do that in a different video. With the connector installed, we're ready to replace the railing on the wall, but this time using a 90 degree bend as a wall connection. Just like the bracket, you can attach the 90 degree bend to a sprocket directly on the wall, or you can sandwich a rosette between the sprocket and the wall to create a more distributed load on the wall. We're going to put the connector right on the, uh, right on the sprocket. We're going to put the railing in place. We're going to hold it there while I install the second half of the 90 degree bend. When I tighten the screws, the bend will clamp on the sprocket on the wall, on the channel grip connector, and this end of the railing will be secure. I'm leaving it a little bit loose until I get the bracket installed at the other end. That we're going to do the same way as before. Here comes the barrel. Two socket screws. Now it's time to tighten up the socket screws on the 90 degree wall connection. So there you have it, a promenade channel grip railing attached to the wall with a sprocket lock L bracket, a 90 degree wall connection used as a termination. This arrangement can hold about a thousand pounds. And all we have to do now to finish it off is to add these little plugs to cap off the holes where the socket screws were and cut a strip of vinyl anti-slip extrusion to pop in place in the channel to provide a nice comfortable grip and finish off the job. Thanks for watching.